Hey, what's up, my uplifting life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is your first time getting uh, to hear me speak. First, let me say welcome. Thank you for the support. I'm the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook. Get rid of your problems, not your partner. Now, this is a part of the series I've been doing, uh, the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 life lessons, because there's a lot of things that I share and teach that COVID-19 is actually validating my points. Not that I want this or any other uh, tragedy to be the way that my points are proven, but they they do work. Um, and so that's why I'm doing the series because uh, there's not much argument can be made because the fact is the proof is being put in the pudding, as I said. But today we want to talk a little bit about comparing your partner. The challenge that a lot of people have in relationships, when I hear people say, well, my wife has gotten too, too big or, uh, you know, because that's where you usually hear that kind of conversation. You'll hear people say, um, you know, and I even hear some of the speakers out here, uh, relationship speakers be saying, as a man, you need to be staying in great shape, you know, and, and just coincidence that the guys that are the speakers that are out here, they're nice, they're nice looking guys, very good shape. So of course, they're people that health is a priority for them. So you can always find a person, you know, what's a person's strength because it's what they're fanatical about. So these people happen to be kind of fanatical about health, which is very important. Don't get me wrong. So it's easy for them to walk around and say, well, yeah, as men, you know, we need to keep our bodies in great shape, da, 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 da. Everybody does is health is not at the top of their list and they're not that way. But the challenge that people start to have in relationships is when you believe that's what's important. Let me say it again. The challenge occurs when you believe that's what's important. See, the keys to relationships is the same thing that I, I, I share about the relationship with yourself, which is the first relationship. You have to get clarity. You have to like you just the way you are. That's what I call love. Love is accepting someone or something exactly the way it is. It doesn't have to change. Now, that doesn't mean it's not going to change. It doesn't mean you're not going to change. Welcome to the real world. But it doesn't have to change. See, too many people put, um, what do we want to call them? Um, they put obstacles in the way in their relationships by saying conditions. That's the word I was actually looking for. Because you'll hear people say, well, there's conditional love and unconditional love. I'd say, there's only one love. Love is accepting people and things just the way they are. If conditions are attached, then it's not love. You're in a relationship based on conditions. And that's really the idea behind this particular video. You got to learn to love yourself regardless of what's going on, what's happening out there on the outside world. When you love you internally, that's love. When I can look in the mirror and say, man, I love that guy, which I do, no matter what's going on. I can look and be like, man, yeah, I, I probably need to lose some weight. But I still love that guy. I, love, I need to lose weight. Why? Because it's going to be for my health reasons. Not because the world is telling me I need to lose weight. Not because someone's cracking jokes. This ain't about external stuff. This is about internal. I have to do it because I know for me to be at my peak performance and my optimum you know, a level of health in order, especially with me getting ready to go out here and, and do public speaking and all that kind of stuff, man, I got to have some energy, which means I got to eat right and get myself so that I can give the best performance while I'm out here. And I can only do that if I'm in the best shape. So I need to do it for health reasons, not because the world is telling me how I should look. So once we have that love unconditionally for ourselves, now you understand where I'm going when we're talking about comparing your partner. Your partner, you have to have the same love for them as you do for yourself. That's what, that's what when you get married, that's really what it's all about. That's why when you hear people say you become one, you're still two individuals. You're still unique. You still have your own desires and, 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 and life that you're both running. But you get to a mental point where to harm you it's the same as harming me because we're one. That's really what this is all about. 
So with that said, I'm not comparing me to anyone else. So why would I compare my wife to anyone else? And the reason I'm using it, comparing it in the COVID-19 is because a lot of you are getting the opportunity to stay at home with your partner. Hopefully you're using that time wisely. Hopefully you're listening to stuff like this and getting books and you guys are working together on your relationship. And you're also seeing who's most important. Who's in the house with you? It ain't those people you keep seeing when you go out in the street and you see that girl at work and be like, that girl bad. Yeah, she bad. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you ever think you or your partner will get to a point where other people are not attractive mentally and physically, then you're living in a very naive world. You will always be attracted to other people. So what do I got to do with anything? Crossing the line and doing something because of that attraction is where challenges occur. And the only reason you're crossing that line, because you guys have heard me say before, you do things for one or two reasons, to avoid pain or to gain pleasure. So when you cross that line, you're not doing it because you're thinking of the pain. So obviously you're doing it because you're thinking of the pleasure. And what am I really saying? When you see that other woman and you think about, man, she, whoo, she bad. And then you come home and your wife is not in the same shape as maybe she was when you guys got together. Not that that should have been the deciding factor anyway. But maybe she's not there. Maybe she's picked up some weight. Maybe she's gotten smaller. Maybe you like the size that she was and now she's lost so much weight. You're like, baby, you need to put some weight on. Because see, in some cultures, heavier is actually more attractive. See, that's why I tell people when people talk about, well, you have to look this certain. No. Culture is doing so much dictating. If you're in a culture that says, you know, women should be a certain weight, certain size, and that could be heavier than what, you know, some of the TV shows are showing in that culture, if you're too thin, they get on your about, you need to pick up some weight. And then there's some cultures that teach you need to be thin, but it's what's being taught. And so for me, what I'm really getting to here is when you stop comparing your partner to other people. And realize the person. See, folks, you can be attracted, and 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 a lot of guys understand this, even though they 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 forget about this. They'll all talk about the two o'clock woman. In other words, after two o'clock in the morning, all women become attractive. A lot of guys live by that philosophy, and they'll go home and go to bed with women that they wouldn't talk to before two o'clock. Now, me personally, I was never that guy, never will be that guy. If I ain't attracted to you before two, I ain't attracted to you after two. So, but a lot of guys can't. Yeah. Why? They changed their perspective. All of a sudden, they stopped comparing her after two o'clock to the woman they saw before two o'clock. You guys follow me? They stopped comparing. Get out of the comparing business. This is your partner. You chose them for a reason. You guys are supposed to be in, and that to me, I tell people all the time, there's two keys to relationships. One is accepting people just as they are. It's not your job to change people. If you can't love me, that's why there's the song, I forgot the name of the girl, but anyway, it's called Naked. And what she's basically saying is, if I take off all my clothes and I take off everything, and she's not talking about just because she took off your clothes, she's just basically saying, if I'm just sitting here, just, just me, can you love me? That's the key that I'm getting to. She's not talking about just body. It just means me. Strip down. Can you love me? That's the key. When you have that person again, because again, you accept people as they are. And number two, of course, is communication. I think I didn't mention that. That's the second part of communication means you better get good at listening and quit trying to make people see things your way and be able to, talk, to start learning to listen and understand other people's perspectives and that's how we both grow but anyway if i get out of the comparing business because i tell people no matter what size your wife is no matter what condition you, whatever it is that you claim that you're you're so depressed about now because she's let herself go when i've heard people say that is to me it's just ridiculous um if you and her were stranded on an island i bet you wouldn't be talking about the fact that she let herself go You'd be like, man, that's the baddest woman in the world. Why? Because you don't have nobody to compare her to. Get out of the comparing business 
and watch your relationship blossom. There's a difference in us doing things because it's what's best for us and doing it because we're comparing and letting the world dictate how our relationship is running because we keep looking at others and thinking, oh, I wish our relationship was like that. I wish you were... Quit comparing and watch your relationship grow. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch my other videos, run over to Ron's U channel. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com, and subscribe to the site. Leave me comments. If there's certain things you'd like for me to talk about, please let me know. I enjoy that. I'll talk on a couple more lessons uh, about the COVID-19. And again, that's the reason that I wanted to cover this because of the COVID-19, this is the perfect opportunity. And hopefully a lot of you are realizing that partner is in here battling with you through the toughest time for most people that they've ever had to experience and hopefully ever will experience until, you know, that day we do leave here. Um, but that's going to be the toughest time what people are battling right now. And that person is there with you. You need to appreciate and remember that. So that when you go back out here, when they let you back out on the street, you quit looking at other people and comparing to the person that was in the, as they say, the foxhole with you fighting the battle. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care and quit comparing.